Carving always starts from the center. If you start from the edge, you will end up rubbing your hands against the finished carving and might end up with chipping the tips. So start from the middle and carve away towards the edges. Finish the cut. We are not carving each triangle, but moving in one direction. This way, you keep the same angle on each carving line. Cut one. Move to the next line. Cut one on the circle and move on. Cut one, move on. Same way you carve the next element. Single cut to the middle, next line. Stay on the same side of triangles. Now, same cuts, but on a different triangle side and the corner. Cut those little corners and so on. Clean it up if you miss a spot or two. Clean up, cut the corners. Clean up those leftovers in the corners. And you end up with a star like that. Next, we move to the next row of triangles. The same way, pushing the heel down and forward to connect with the line. Keep it on a line. Make sure you always keep it on the line. Push down the heel, place it on a line, push the heel down. Just an advice to beginners. Basic elements. Cut with the grain, going this way. Always with the grain, this way. Cut with the grain. Next, you can flip the hatchet and put it on a hill and push it. Clean it up. So the same way you do, put the hill down, clean it up.
push the heel down, clean it up, Cut the grain and the last triangle this way, clean it up. And now again, we flip the board and we go from the inner corner, push the hill, push the hill, the same stuff. Those little knots, they're not important. Again, flip it, put the heel down, clean it up. As you can see, you can push the hatchet or you can put it on a line and just pushing the heel down. If you make a nice clean and everything goes right, so then the triangle will come up very easily. That's how the carving should look like from the close look. So more or less, it should be all clean. Try to make it as clean as possible. But if something goes wrong, so you can always clean it up. Don't forget to hone your hatchet. So what I do, I put it uh, flat on a piece of leather, which buffed up with the polishing paste. So 10 times one way, about 10 times the other way. And every half an hour or so. And those triangles go the same way. So we start at the point. We use a pushing technique here. Again, all the way around the circle. Don't forget about the angle. And the same way we cut one part, the second part. You can use this technique pushing the hatchet away. Clean up where you miss the spot. Or you can use in the technique which pushing the heel down. Place it on a line, push the heel down. Place it on a line, push the heel down. Now just check if you miss any spots or whatever. And just clean it up and continue on. The same way we cut out those flowers. Using the pushing technique again. And again, stay on the line. Always stay on the line to make a nice and clean cut. Put it on the line. Push the heel down. Push towards the center. Skip the paddle. And again, on a line. Push the heel down, push towards the center. On a line, push the heel down, push the towards the center.
curved lines, you can cut in a several attempts, like, you know, making a one cut, clean it up a little bit, make another cut, clean it up. First cut, second, third, clean it up, and a straight line with one cut. Same here on a paddle again, one, two, three cuts. Straight one in one cut. Same here on an opposite direction. Don't make it deep cut, just slightly cut, clean it up. On this one, just a straight clean cut and the paddle again in three steps. Missed the spot here, so we'll clean it up.